In this short video I'm going to show you how to use a trace table to check the flow of a flowchart as it goes through an algorithm. It will check the variables, in this case x and y, which can be assigned values which will change throughout the algorithm. So let's start off with iteration 0 here. This means that that it's a sequence and is not in a loop. So x is given the value 1 and y is given the value 0. So this is put into the corresponding um, iteration 0 of the trace table, setting x to 1 and y to 0. Then we drop into the loop and we see that y is now equal to y plus 1. So the value of y was 0 and we add the value 1. We then go down and x equals x times y. So x started off with a value of 1 and y start, uh, is now at set at value 1. So 1 times 1 equals 1. So on iteration 1, since we've entered the loop, we put 1 in x and 1 in y. We drop down now to the decision diamond, which asks if y is greater than 5. In this case, y is set to 1 on iteration 1, so no. So it goes back around the loop and we're now into iteration 2. So 1 is added to the value of y, which becomes 2, and x equals x times y. So we have 2 times 1, which now we put in the value of 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. And it's still not, y is still not equal to 5. So we go round the loop again, and again we add 1 to y, making it 3 on iteration 3, and x equals x times y. That's 3 times 2, so we place 6 into the value of x on iteration 3. This continues around the loop to iteration 4, then iteration 5. Once we come up to iteration 5 then, y equals y plus 1, which on iteration 6 becomes the value 6. And then we drop down to x equals x times y. So it's 6 times 120, which is 720. We go down then and test the value of y on iteration 6 and find out that it's 6. So therefore, y is now greater than 5. So we then exit out to the end. That is the end of the actual flowchart. So we can now look that we've completed the trace table. After six iterations, you can see the changing value of x and the changing value of y. This is a sequence. So the first two steps is a sequence. And then here is an iteration. And an iteration is denoted by a condition which either lets it go round the loop or exit the loop depending on the value of y.